Good evening. Tonight we're interviewing Dr. Stephen Proskauer, author of Karmic Therapy, Healing the Split Psyche. How are you tonight? Just fine, Brenda. How are you doing? Very good. And can you tell us how um, you can heal traumatic abuse with uh, karmic therapy? Well, when people go through abuse experiences, uh, karmic therapy can be especially helpful because oftentimes much of the memory is buried uh, just to protect, say it's a child, protect the child from overwhelm. Mm -hmm. But if the trauma is buried and not completely cleared at some point, there can be effects on the, the physical body, uh, effects on the belief system and the th thought process, um, effects on the emotional life, and even in, in effects on the spiritual integrity of the person. So there's, there can be damage at many different levels, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. And we have to address all of that. So first thing we would do is to find out what the symptoms are in the present time and use those as a jumping off point. So let's say somebody was at one time strangled and they were terrified of dying because their airway was being cut off by someone who was physically abusing them. So they would probably have a fear of being smothered and there would be sensations and tightness in the, in the throat. And we would ask them to let their throat speak and um, what would usually come out would be something like that. Terror. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And you just have them keep saying that and releasing the fear around it. And, and meanwhile, letting them also go back to the memory of when this happened. And with help, they can remember details that they were, were missing and begin to release some of the fear and the trauma. Because all the time they're talking about this and reliving it, they're in a safe in a room with you and you're keeping everything safe for them. So there is no real danger. They've grown up and now they can handle this. So the physical residue of the trauma can be released. And then if there's issues of guilt or shame uh, or fear of expression, self-expression connected with this, which often happens with sexual abuse, that has to be brought out and, and that has to be released. Oftentimes the looks or the words of an abuser stick in the mind, like if you tell anybody I'll kill you, and then that shuts down all of their expression ability. So you have to unearth that and get them to repeat those words and release them. They're like hypnotic suggestions that have been giving, given to them by abusers that affect their lives for the rest of the, their, their uh, adult uh, and childhood life. Um, so um, we have to support the expression of fear and pain and help people to alter the false decisions that they've made about life. Sometimes people believe that they have to be constantly vigilant or something terrible is going to happen to them again. And that vigilance is like a constant state of anxiety. And people are not going to feel safe until they've found the source of that anxiety, realized it's not now, and released it. So those are a few things about traumatic abuse and how we can uh, deal with it. And then there are roots to all of these things that go back into past lives, into birth, prenatal period, which, and sometimes we have to dig up the deeper roots where people have experienced this type of trauma, sometimes even worse uh, than in this life, it's been in the past life. And then sometimes when people can't remember uh, their childhood, uh, they can still remember a past life where they had a worse trauma, and once that's been released, then they can remember their childhood. So they can be healthy. Yeah. So that's, I guess, about all I need to say about that right now. Yeah. Well, that's very interesting. 
I must tell people that your book is available at RazorPages.com, and I appreciate your time tonight, Dr. Proskauer. Oh, well, I appreciate having a chance to talk about this. There's lots more information and many case examples about traumatic abuse in my Such book. book. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your time.